We've finally done it. We have finally broken through. The ice is shattered. Floodgates, oh, they're open. We got our first win. Are we dead last in the league right now? Yeah, you could say that. But you know what? I've been saying for a while now, the first season is a complete write-off. And if we do really bad, hopefully the draft lottery treats us well and we get another stud. Just looking at our team here, we've got Michelli, Schmaltz, and Keller as our first line. Cooley, Kraus, and Genther. Pretty solid. We did get Sergachev and Valimaki back, which is nice. I mean, at this point, because of our record, it doesn't really mean anything. And then we've got Bryce Young and Andy Dalton. I, a lot of people like that reference, apparently. I'm actually recording this before, and I hope to be done by the time the Jets and Vikings take the field in London. We have the Vancouver Canucks here, third in the league. This is going to be a tough matchup, but let's try to do our best anyway. See if we can maybe have a reasonable third period situation. No, we are not going to have one. Four nothing. Get me out of here. Oh, we couldn't even get a goal? Again, I'm no expert. But you're probably not winning a whole lot of games with zero goals. I'm absolutely down for us to keep losing though because let's tank for whoever the top draft pick is. The fact that they're even mentioning the word called around me is insane. This matchup could go a little bit better. We've got the Detroit Red Wings. They are 21st in the league. 30 wins so far on the season. Let's see if this simulation is going to be slightly better. It should. First period. So far, it's the exact same. And let's hit him with the second period. 4-1. No, not doing it. Oh, that's why it was taking so long. I thought my game froze, but no. It was the trade deadline. Let's see if we made any moves. It was just going by in the bottom of the screen. I didn't really see what we gave up, but we got Zade Wisdom. And a first. At this rate, we might straight up be simulating to the next season in this video. We have the Toronto Maple Leafs, 37 wins, 5th in the league. Can we somehow hold Poppy off the board here? Oh! Alright, second period. I'm shocked. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling yet. Like, do I feel this is going to be a good day and we're going to save some pucks? Or do I feel like I'm going to get lit up like a Christmas tree? That is yet to be decided. Nice hit! Here comes Will Nye the hockey guy. Over to Matthews, the guy that we have somehow managed to keep off the board so far. There it is, a Matthews save. How about it, lads? Send it out, and that is headman to Cooley real quick. And here we go the other way. Oh, great poke check by whoever that was. Whoa, that almost got through. Saved on Willie, though, and thank you for getting there. Not the best pass on my part. Riley, going... Well, that was aggressive. They are swarming us right now. A glove stop. Send it out. And we once again managed to get it out of our zone relatively easily. So our breakouts have been fine. Their defenders are on point right now. These poke checks are insane. What was that? That was friendly fire to the maximum. Okay, we got lucky there. But our teammate just straight up tried to nutmeg us. This isn't a practice, my good sir. This is a game. Why do you have to be mad? I feel like I've asked this before, but for anyone that plays goalie in this game, do you actually use the prediction thing at all or no? Because I never use it. But maybe I should. And I also remember hearing, yeah, that is interesting. So if you hold in the stick as you're moving, you can move faster while standing up. That is crucial information that I didn't know. That is a good shot, OEL. That's a good one. He sniped on me. The celebration's kind of unnecessary, can't lie to you. You know what? Yeah, my mind has been made. We are going to go ahead and finish up this season in this video. And then we will start off season number two in episode seven, I guess that would be. Still gonna throw it out. Horrible idea. But I'm sending it. That's gonna wait. Definitely gonna need some ice packs. What have you got, Maximus? What have you got? Not much. You have a little, little kick behind the net. Ooh. A little bit of a skip and a hop. I think that went off of our defender's shin. But it wasn't really a menacing shot, so pretty easy to save. He tried to go five hole. I can't believe you. Huge save. Another quick little stop, despite the fact that we did let in a goal. This has been a pretty solid third period so far, especially against 
an offensive team like the Toronto Maple Leafs. Happy trying to snipe. He must have heard me. It's like, oh yeah? You think you can keep me off the board, eh? Well, I guess he might not say A, because he is American. I don't really know. Do you guys say A ever? That almost found a way. But it was blockered over the net by Tino Mance. Not getting called to the bench yet. We're down by one minute left. Pressure in their zone. That makes absolute sense. Whoa, what a save by Wall. Still not getting called. This is ridiculous. High glove save. Pretty sure that was missing the net. But a stat patter. We've talked about it many times already. Save on Johnny T. A terrible pass out, but thankfully their player kind of backed off. So us not pulling the goaltender is sort of like prime proof that we are kind of tanking. But we're just not making it super obvious. But thanks to your guys' comments, I feel like I've added several new things to my inventory. And we are going to be elite next season. I promise nothing, but I provide you this information with hope. Holy crap, they had 40 shots? We have to be the second star. Maybe even first with that performance. John Tavares. Ah, but we only got one on 20. I feel like this should be a time where both goalies would get it. Let's see. Who gets the first star? Are they going to give it to... Oh, wait. No, yeah. Yes, we did get it. That is the ultimate, I had my guy. Why are you putting us in net against the first place Vancouver Canucks? Can someone show me the logic? There's only a handful of games left. I kind of doubt we're going to end up playing this one because we're going to get smoked. But let's see, maybe that's not the case. Sim game, can we somehow take down the first place Vancouver Canucks? This should be a cakewalk for them. That's interesting. And by the looks of it, we are on the peeper to start the third, but for how long? Oh, oh my goodness, they got a five minute? Or actually, I guess it could have been a double minor. That also works. Unbelievable save. Nils Hoaglander, throwing a couple deeks in there while shorthanded. He is exuding confidence. What? There's no way we can score a goal if those are the levels. We definitely have some contracts to deal with, but I wonder if we're going to sign some free agents. Quinny, over to Pedersen. What a snipe. Holy smokes. He even popped the bottle. Was I even close on this one? So the pass goes through. Our defender there is in no man's land. I don't know why my goalie did what he did. Oh, I guess he's trying to stand up and get the... Fair enough. That's just a great shot. Look at the bottle flying. We can still score and tie this thing up. Well, actually, the way Demko's playing, don't believe that's true. Yeah, right, Besser. Who's this guy think I am? Oh, he's going to do it. <laughs> there is no way. Who do you think you are? I am. We're just, like, not going to score. They have a brick wall in net, quite literally. We are not speaking in metaphors here. I am being super serious when I say that they built a brick wall and just threw it in the net. Just under seven minutes remaining in this third period. We've let up two now. I believe they actually had a lot of shots coming into this period, like 21 or something like that, and we only had eight. All over it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Actually, I'm not going to say that because whatever just happened with Besser is going to happen all over again. Garland, one-on-one. -on -one, going to get knocked off the puck. And Valimaki with a great back check is there to prevent this from becoming a three-goal game. Because if they get a breakaway, probably scoring. Oh, I'm getting pulled now. That makes a lot of sense. So we do it when we're down by two, but not down by one. Gotcha. And the camera's actually working this time. We have the broadcast view of this game. And right now, it's sort of looking like Vancouver's going to get the empty netter. Never mind. That was a great hustle from whoever that was. I feel like in NHL 24, they just kind of backed off and let you go. But in NHL 25, maybe it's different. Nope. He backed up. Might even have to save another one here. That went just wide of the net, thankfully, because our reaction time there was nothing short of pathetic. Break the ice? Not going to happen. They had 30 shots three goals and one of them was an empty netter 
Not a bad performance from Tino. Let's try to get our one more game in. Maybe it'll be against the Sabres here, and then we will simulate the rest of the season. Go look at the stats, and then we'll probably do the offseason and stuff in the next video and go up to the next year. Can we obtain win number two against the Buffalo Sabres? First period. It is 3-1. Well, no, this is the answer. 8-2. And they didn't pull me. They kept me in the entire time. That is disrespectful. Can we get our second win against the Detroit Red Wings? I feel like we've already played them once, but it was just a game we skipped through because we were getting annihilated. Maybe this sim will do us a little bit better. 1-0 and 3-0. Nah, not even going to. That was close. They just played Ingram in back-to-back -back nights again. So that's where we're at currently. We might genuinely be benched for the year. We are not getting any starts right now. Never mind, scratch that. We're going in against the eighth placed Winnipeg Jets. Just keep throwing us to the good teams. How about that? First period is going to result in a 2 1 lead for the Utah Hockey Club. Ooh. Let's go. I'm so excited for this lead to disappear in the next five to 10 seconds. Or not. Glove save on Shifley. As a matter of fact, Winnipeg is the team that we almost got our first win against. I'm pretty sure we went to a shootout, or maybe it was just overtime. I, don't... I wasn't too far off with the 5 to 10 seconds. I meant like 5 to 10 seconds in the video. Not on the clock here. Also, someone was telling me about the purple abilities, like the grudge matchup abilities, I guess they are. So, that's kind of cool. Nikolai Ehlers has the only goal in this third period thus far. Kyle Connor gets a chance from him. But we just managed to get over in time. Let's go here, boys. Let's get a goal. I mean, we do already have three, which is solid. But we need one more. Maybe two, actually. Holy... That actually almost made me flinch. In fact, I might have flinched. I'm not sure. Nice try. Kinda. Connor Hellebuck is evidently a big fan of breaks in the play. This man refuses to pass the puck out. No matter what. It could be all of his players around him. He's like, nope, I want a break. What a save by Hellebuck. Are you kidding me right now? The goaltenders that we're going up against are just playing unbelievable. I'm trying to remember the order of events here. I believe that the draft lottery is announced after. It has the whole Stanley Cup winner, Calder Cup winner thing. So I'll probably... Get up to find out who wins the Stanley Cup, and then we'll stop there and look at some statistics. Another great save. It's not from lack of trying that goals are not coming to the Utah Hockey Club right now. We're just getting robbed. I'm also curious to see how much our overall goes up throughout the offseason, because there's a lot of training. I don't think we'll get another ability unlocked. There's a chance that we can get some salary perks. That was a close call. If we do go to a shootout, I'm flying, poke checking, doing the flying poke check on every single shot. I don't care. Very happy that Michelli outmuscled 2 7 there because I was a fish out of water flopping around. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. Don't let Kyle Connor get it. Nope. We survived. Get away from me. Get away from me, Mark. Let me score a goal. I guess that's their way of trying to stop goalie goals this year as the players just get all up in your grill. Before it was like they were terrified of you. Like the goalie would touch the puck and they would all just start backing up and leaving the zone. Like, whoa, whoa, take it easy, man. Well, I went to put my controller down on the desk, didn't quite make it. Uh, we'll get him next year. There is a very legitimate possibility that we finish the year with one win. Five games left in the regular season. We might play two of them. Three games left. So far, we have not played any one of them. We get put in against the second place Dallas Stars. Why are you feeding me to the wolves here? Can we get a conversation going, coach? I want to initiate this one. First period against the Dallas Stars. It is 1-1 and it is 4-4 after two. 
Of course. Not in against Nashville. So we have one game left in the regular season and we're not in. And it was a back-to-back. -back. So we finished the year with a record of 120 and 5 in 868 and a 424. One of the seasons of all time. So at this point, I'm just simming up to the offseason. And when we get the notification for who wins the Stanley Cup, that's when we'll stop and go look at everything. Two trade points for me? Just because of how dirty Besser did us, I am putting one on sealed. And then I will also spend some points here on rebound control. That was definitely a season to forget. We have the Oilers and the New York Rangers going head to head for the Stanley Cup. And it will be the Rangers that come out on top. Toronto Marlies, your Calder Cup champions. We finished with a grand total of 58 points and 25 wins on the year, which of course gets us last in the Central Division. And on top of that, it puts us convincingly in last of the entire league. You hate to see it. Vancouver and Dallas both had 111 points. Our top point guy was an 81 overall third liner that got 55. And he was a dash seven. Clayton Keller, where were you? Michelli, Cooley, I'm mad and disappointed. Why is it not showing Connor Ingram? That's weird. Maybe his contract expired or something? Sean Dursey had 32 points. What a legend. 26 from Sergachev. Marino, 25. Now we can look at stats of players belonging to competent teams. 43 wins for Aiden Hill and a 921. Thatcher Demko had a 922. Just based on when we played him, I'm surprised he got scored on at all. Roman Yossi did end up leading on the defensive side. He had 80 points, 81 games, so close to point a game. Quinn Hughes, 78. Kale McCarr, 76. Same with Norrissey. So it was McCarr on Yossi's tail for the longest time there, but I guess Quinn Hughes just had a great second half of the year, or I guess post-trade deadline, really. Also, 24 goals for a defenseman is pretty nuts. Matthew's going to be your art and most likely heart winner. 116 points, a nice amount of goals. Martin he got 110 and these are the only two players to break 100 will nye the hockey guy got 98 and he was third so the leafs had the top three point getters the rangers won the prince of wales edmonton won the campbell and then there you go presidents and stanley the art ross and the heart go to pappy quinn hughes gets the norris marnsey with the lady bing macklin celebrini is going to take home the calder no surprises there fox with the con smythe demko gets the vesna and the jennings gudis awarded the masterton whereas barkov is awarded the selkie matt Matthews also gets the Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. As we saw, no one else was even really close. Well, that's where we're going to end it. We are 70 overall. The next video, I am going to look into salary perks. The offseason, we should grow quite a bit with training. Maybe our team will make some moves. We're going to find out if we sign any free agents, if we trade, if the draft pick we get is good. I mean, we finished dead last in the league, so... If my understanding is correct, the lowest we can drop in the lottery is three and we'll still get a really good player. Honestly, it feels pretty good to get that miserable season over with. I think next year we should be much better, but I guess we'll have to wait and see now, won't we?